We're going to take a look at one of the practice problems for Math 055. This is the practice um, practice midterm test we're looking at for Unit 3. Okay, so this first one, solve the equation for the given variable. If your answer is a fraction, write it in reduced fractional form. Do not convert the answer to a decimal. And so here's the problem. 4 times 4y plus 1 minus 6 is equal to 5 times 2y minus 3 minus 16. Um, so in Canvas with this problem, there will be some links to Khan Academy explaining the distributive property and how to solve for y. And I'll just walk you through that right now. And then if you have uh, more questions, contact me. Or if you like, you could go to the Math Learning Center and ask them. They're online and they're available. OK, so what we want to do first is um, we're going to distribute the 4 here over the elements inside the parentheses. And then over on this side, we'll do the same with the 5. All right, and so normally with PEMDAS, you want to do all of the operations within parentheses first before anything else. But because these are not common terms, and it's addition or subtraction, we can't do anything with them. So we go ahead and multiply. We can move to the multiplication and do those. So let's do it that way. Um, 4 times 4y, if you've got 4, 4y's, four you've got 16y's. So that's going to be 16y plus 4 times 1, which is 4, minus 6. OK, so we can drop the parentheses for that. We've expanded. This uh, we've distributed the 4 over these two elements and ended up with 16y plus 4 minus 6. And that's going to be equal to the 5 distributed over 2y minus 3. So here we have a change of sign because it's subtraction. So 5 times 2y is 10y. For these two, it's going to be equal to 10y. And negative 3 times 5, negative 15 minus 16. Okay, and we'll continue to, um, we will combine like terms, and then we will, um, the next step will be to isolate y and solve for it. So now, now that we've expanded it, we're going to simplify uh, what we've got left. So 16y on this side stands by itself, but we have a positive 4 and a negative 6. So um, 4 minus 6 is negative 2. Let's bring down that 16y. So we have 16 minus 16y minus 2 is equal to uh, 10y minus 15 minus 16. So we've got two negative numbers. The signs are the same. That usually means we combine the numbers and then take the sign of the larger number as the sign of the, the um, answer, the sum. And so 15 and 16 is 31. And those are both negative. So we got a lot of negatives, negativity. And that's a negative 31. So 10y minus 31. OK, so now we've um, simplified it this far. And the next step will be to um, get all of our y's on the same side and then isolate y and find out what the value is. OK, so it doesn't really matter which way you go with this. Um, uh, we're going to end up with a negative at some point because if we move the 31, to the left side, we'll end up with a positive uh, 29, but then we have to move the 16y to the right side, which will give us a negative 6y. So why don't we think about keeping our y value positive, and we will subtract 10y from both sides. All right, and that's going to give us uh, 16y minus 10y is 6y minus 2, and that's equal to negative 31, okay, because these two cancel out. All right, so now we want to just, um, can you already see where we're going with this? Let's get green for the green light. We're going to add 2 to both sides. So this one goes away, and we know then that 6y is equal to negative 31 plus 2. And so the signs are different, so we're going to take the difference between the two numbers. The difference between 31 and 2 is 29. And the sign on the number with the bigger absolute value, 31, is negative. So our answer will have a negative sign. So this will be minus 29. 
It may be easier for you to think of a number line and go to negative 31 and then go to the right two places and end up at negative 29. But when the numbers get bigger, um, it'll be easier, I think, to uh, learn the rule that when the signs are the same, you combine them and keep the, the sign. And when they're different, you take the difference between the two numbers and then use the sign of the larger, the number with the larger absolute value. Okay, so 6y is equal to negative 29. So uh, what we're going to do next is just divide both sides by 6. Do I have another color? Yellow doesn't show up very well. I guess I'll go with, um, well, I've, I think I've used them all. All right, we're going to go back to purple. It's a relaxing color. We're going to divide both sides by 6. So 6y divided by 6 is y, 1y or just y. And that's equal to negative 29 sixths. And um, 29 and 6 are co-prime. They don't have any common factors. And so we can't reduce that. And this is going to be our final answer. y is equal to negative 29 sixths. And that's the answer that would go in this box. And this isn't a real box that I can type into. But... Um, for this answer, let me write it on my tablet, you would need a parenthesis and a negative sign and then a 29 and another parenthesis and then a slash and a 6 um, for that to show as um, 20, negative 29 sixths. And generally, um, we like to have a clean denominator, so the sign if there is a negative fraction, the sign goes on the numerator, on the top number, and it's just a way to keep it, um, keep the denominator, I don't know, easier to, easier to work with. Okay, so give that a try, and if you run into trouble, let me know, um, or you can contact the uh, Math Learning Center, but I would really like to work with you on these, so... Um, Give me a call or shoot me an email. We'll set up a Zoom session. We can work on some of these. There are also practice um, problems and links to practice problems in Canvas in this module. So try those out too. Thanks.